Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. For decades, wind and solar have been the centerpieces of green energy. But the ocean's ever-constant waves and tides are also rich with renewable power that has remained largely untapped. Off the coast of Scotland, Orbital Marine Power is one of the companies trying to change that. Its jumbo jet-sized floating platform, called the O2, has two giant rotors that sit 60 feet below the surface of the water and can harness the energy of the ocean's tides. It's kinetic energy, so the bits of technology that generate the power look not too different to a wind turbine. But unlike wind turbines that have to accommodate for wind coming from all directions, the O2 only needs to capture energy from two. You have a flood tide when the tide comes in, and you have an ebb tide when the tide goes out. And tides are far more reliable than wind. You can predict those motions years and decades into advance. This is Orbital's third tidal turbine system to be connected to the UK National Grid for testing since 2012. This latest design features rotors that can lift out of the water for easier access for repairs. The company says one O2 unit generates up to two megawatts, which it says is enough to power around 2,000 homes a year. Think of what Burden Power is doing at Roosevelt Island in New York City is what the Wright brothers did at Kitty Hawk. In the U.S., Verdant Power's tri-frame system operates at the bottom of the East River, which is actually a tidal strait. It's in a pre-commercial phase, but actively delivers power to New York City's electric grid. The potential for marine energy uh, is something like 250 gigawatts around the world. And that's just tidal. It doesn't include rivers or large canals. So you can see the potential for the applications, not only our technology, but our competitors as well. I mean, there's lots of room, and we really hope our competitors succeed too for the sake of the industry, but we've got to get our cost down. Right now, the high cost of building, operating, and maintaining tidal power technology means that tidal energy comes at a premium, but government investment could play a vital role in driving the price tag down. In the UK, there are economic incentives. We're counting on those for our first commercial projects. As we start mass producing the technology, we're going to pivot from the UK and head right back to North America. Alaska, New York, Canada, tremendous water currents that we're going to harvest. Verdant and Orbital Marine are only two of the many companies developing ways to take advantage of the ocean's untapped resources. While some experts compare tidal power to what wind energy was like 20 years ago, it's only a matter of time before our oceans play a larger role. Climate change isn't going to be cracked by one solution. If you add them all together, you start making a big difference. And that's what we need. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com, and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN10. I'm Carl Azus.